Hello guys, we are making a short presentation of a little um, a little design we we successfully implemented at Coventry University Lab. And as you can see in front of you, the title of um, the project is Design and Implementation of a Functional Signal Generator Utilizing the peak microcontroller. Um, we won't be going into much of the details regarding the design. We'll just be demonstrating the. I mean, we'll just be demonstrating how it works, so you could pretty much follow. So um, we're going to be interfacing uh, our microcontroller with the sensor. You pretty much have a, have a uh, visual display advantage of um, seeing the display through the system, and then we're also going to be interfacing it with the oscilloscope. And of course, we need a power supply. <laughs> yeah, right now this is our implemented circuit. Um, Right here, this is the peak microcontroller we'll be using, um, and then this is just the circuit here. It looks really complicated, yeah, but um, it isn't as complicated as it looks if you follow the circuit diagram. Uh, and we have the MPLAB ICD tree here, which we use to program the microcontroller. As you can see, it is linked to the microcontroller. And yeah, this little tiny board here, these are variable resistors that we'll be using as our potentiometer. Mm -hmm. um, we don't need all the potentiometers, we just need the very first one. The question is why did I choose, or why did we choose to use this? And I guess it's just because I like it. I like this board. Uh, that's why I'm using it. Okay, so we're going to make a short demonstration now. Um, what this circuit basically does is it acts as a function generator. We're going to generate a number of waves starting from the square wave down to the triangle wave and then we'll have the sawtooth wave and then we'll have the yeah the pulse wave and then we'll have last but certainly not the least <laughs> the sine wave, right? Yeah, sine wave. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. So first thing first is we're going to reset the system here. As soon as you reset the system, I'm going to press the reset button and monitor the screen as soon as I press the reset button. I'm going to have a display. Yep. So this is a function generator, coursework. Yeah, that's our coursework. Right? The group members, three of us. Just three gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Um, now we're going to we're going to um, <laughs> let's see if we can generate the very first wave. So I'm, my partner over here is going to give um, put on the very first switch. As soon as he puts on the very first switch, we have a display here. It says select the frequency. Press 1 if you want 15 gigahertz or 15.6 hertz. Press 2 for 31.6 hertz. And press 3 for 62.1 hertz. Okay, I'm just gonna press 1. Just gonna press 1. Um, and then as soon as I did that, uh, bear in mind all what you are seeing right now. This is how I programmed the circuit to work. So you could program your circuit um, to work without a display, or just to make things a little bit beautiful and user friendly. We decided to include this. So you select the max space ratio, press one, and uh, for 0 0.5, press two, for one, press um, yeah. So you get the idea. So we're gonna press one. I'm gonna press one. Okay. As soon as we press the one, the oscilloscope, yeah. yeah, we've interfaced the circuit to the oscilloscope. As you can see, um, well, it's, it's a little bit hard to pin, uh, to pin out the, the very cable that we've used to link the oscilloscope with, but 
it's linked to the oscilloscope as you can see right now we have a display it's not too clear so i'm going to just um, make it a little bit clearer here okay let's see if we can do this yeah as you can see it's the square wave <coughs> all right it's the square wave and um you could pretty much vary the parameters of the square wave and yeah the reason why we put this variable resistor here <laughs> is to vary the frequency of the wave <laughs> the frequency of the wave so you could vary the frequency of the wave by just varying um, by just rotating the knob as you can see just observe the frequency of the wave by just varying this uh, knob here, rotating the knob, we have a convenient frequency. Yeah, I think we can leave it at that. Okay, right now we're going to move to the next wave. Okay, all we have to do is just to switch from this button to the next button. So I'm switching right now to the second button. Yeah, as soon as I did that. I have the display saying triangle wave mode selected. Yep. So and, uh, my wave is generated. It may not be clear, you just need to vary it just a bit. As soon as you vary it a bit, you have exactly what you need. So now we have a triangle wave mode selected. I can vary the frequency as usual. Permit me, please. Yes. I'm going to vary the frequency. It's going to be a little bit faster than this. As you can see, frequencies yep. so that's um, a triangle wave I'm going to move to the next wave now without any waste of time um, switching from this to the next mode and as soon as you take this you saw wave mode selected yep. so yeah, we have our saw wave mode it's generating automatically. Now I'm going to see if I can vary this to make it a little bit clearer. Yeah, yeah that's our saw wave mode or saw tooth wave mode. It's a beautiful display. Now we're going to move to the next second to the last which is um the pause mode. As soon as you select that it says here your pulse mode is selected, pulse wave mode selected, and as you can see what we have here, the wave looks like a pulse or series of pulses. Um, you can vary it. I'm trying to vary the display to make it a little bit more visible. Okay, so we have something like this. You can vary the frequency as much as you like. Um, can vary the frequency so you can see you can see now it's moving yeah that's the frequency varied now we're going to move to the last wave which is the sine wave and it's my favorite because it was hard it was hard to implement so yes we have the sine wave mode selected display right there and then yeah our oscilloscope is giving us what we need, you just need to adjust it a bit. As soon as you adjust it a bit, you have the wave move. Yeah, so this is our sine wave. I'm going to see if I can adjust it a bit, make it a little bit visible, maybe make it a bit faster so that it runs through. Yep, as you can see. It's fast. I mean, it's really fast. I could increase the display to make so you could. Yeah. So we pretty much have a sign we generated. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much the longer shot of um, our demonstration. Hope you liked it. Um. <laughs> These are the details of the students who have successfully implemented this. Yeah, so thanks. Thanks for watching. Yeah.